Good morning dear friends and greetings to all of you in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. This is a new day, a new beginning. An opportunity to serve the Lord and bless his holy name and exalt him. Our today's meditation is based on the gospel according to St. John chapter 6 verse 2. I would like to read this small passage. Verse 2 of the chapter 6 of the gospel according to St John says and a great crowd of people followed him because they saw miraculous signs he had performed a great crowd followed Jesus because they have seen the miraculous signs he has been performing miracles what are they and the purpose of miracles what is the purpose miracles are works of a supernatural origin and power and jesus' ministry was a full of miracles by doing miracles jesus proved himself to be the son of god while commissioning the disciples as his successors to continue the works that he began to do while he was here on earth and the works that he has started he also has given them the authority to the same miraculous ministry authority over all scorpions and serpents to trample on them these things stand for evil demonic and destructive forces evil forces trying to destroy mankind and jesus said in his last meeting with his disciples before his ascended i give you authority because all authorities in heaven and on earth are all given to me on that ground I want you to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature every living human being and make them my disciples by baptizing them in the name of the father son and of the holy spirit and teaching them everything i have taught you and then he said lo i am with you always even until the end of the earth and then in the book of acts we are told that the disciples began the ministry and the lord was with them confirming the word they have been declaring with signs and wonders and miracles and that is the way god has been doing his ministry through his church with the same power and authority over demon powers and evil forces and the church possesses that authority from the lord jesus christ to do miracles and the days of miracles in your friends are not over as some people advocate the miracles will continue until the rapture of the church because he even today confirms his word with signs and wonders through those who believe and who take god's word for what it is and act upon it today let me tell you why should we as his servants must continue such ministry along with the preaching and teaching the word of god and i want to mention a few things why the miracles in the ministry of the church with scripture references and i would like you and i will encourage you to write down these scripture references 
and read them for yourself. And perhaps God wants to use you for a miraculous ministry filled with miracles. And always let me tell you one thing. God will confirm only his word as you declare it. He is not going to, to confirm my opinion or my doctrines or my own ideas. No. And that's why preach the word of God as it has come to us. And if you remain true to God's word and God's call upon you, you can expect God to be with you and confirm what you declare with signs and wonders. Why miracles? Number one, they function as signs or mark of authority from God. The scripture passage is John's Gospel, chapter 2, verse 11. The central and greatest miracle is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And uh, this we will find the 1st Corinthians chapter 15. You read the whole chapter with a new intention as you have never read it before. And number two, miracles honor Jesus Christ and his message proving his identity as the Son of God and our Savior. The Gospel according to St. John chapter 2 verse 23. I'll say it again one more time. Miracles honor Jesus Christ and his message proving him to be the Son of God and who has become our Savior and our Lord. Number three, God's Word teaches us that miracles are to continue through His followers in the church. Jesus sent out His disciples to preach and perform miracles. The Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 10 verses 7 and 8 and the Gospel according to St. Mark chapter 3 verses 14 and 15. When Jesus sent out his disciples and even today that is what he does and that's where we need to understand what our ministry is. Our ministry is preaching the word and teaching the word to establish believers in the faith and in the love of God, they become strong disciples. But also you can expect, you don't have to run after miracles. Miracles will happen. And you don't have to focus too much on the miracles. Wherever sincerely uh, the gospel is declared, by the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit, miracles will happen because that is God's business. Our business is to be obedient in declaring the truth and declaring the gospel message as it is, undiluted and uncompromisingly. And then God will do what He promised to do. He will perform miracles. Hallelujah. And this is what God Jesus has promised. Number four, Jesus declared that those who believed in him through the preaching of the word were also to do the works he did and would even do greater works than he did. That is what Jesus has promised. Because you must remember, Jesus did not come just to do some miracles and go. His main mission was to be the Lamb of God and be a sacrifice for the remission of our sin. That was the main reason. But on his way from Bethlehem to Golgotha, he met needy people 
and he just met their need miraculously. And that is what he did. But then he said, those who believed in him and dedicated their lives to doing God's ministry according to God's will, he said, you will do the same works that I have been doing. And in fact, you will do greater miracles than I have done. Because that is a ministry that must continue. Because salvation work is complete. And now your business is to declare it. And it is his business to do miracles through you. And that is Matthew chapter 14 verse 12. And the gospel according to St. Mark chapter 16 verses 15 to 20. Read these passages please. And number five. Book of Acts record many miracles done by the apostles and by the early Christians. And these miracles happened through the believers who believed in Jesus. The gospel according to Saint, uh, I mean not the gospel, the book of Acts chapter 3 verses 1 to 10. The first miracle performed by the church which confirmed the presence of the resurrected Christ with them, continuing to do his work that he started and he began and now he's doing it through his church. Hallelujah. That is a wonderful revelation, my friends. Uh, the references to that, Acts chapter 3 verses 1 to 10 and then chapter 5 verse 12. And then chapter 6, verses 8, and chapter 8, verse 6. These are the references. Please, I will tell you one more time. Acts chapter 3, verses 1 to 10. Then chapter 5, verse 12. Chapter 6, verse 8. And then again, chapter 8, verse 6. And sixthly, Miracles are called signs to confirm the truth of Christ's message. Miracles are to confirm. Signs, they are signs uh, to confirm the truth of Christ and his message. Uh, Acts chapter 4 verse says, 29 and 30 and then again chapter 14 verse 3 and seventhly the Holy Spirit wants to continue showing these signs in and through the church today and my friends you can expect to be an instrument in God's hand to do the impossible. See, what you can do in your own strength, God will not do. But God will do what you cannot do when you do what you can do. That's why I'm emphasizing this again. You keep on de declaring the truth of God's gospel the message of Christ, the gospel message given to us. And when you are faithful and faithfully discharging your duty, you can expect God to step in and do what you cannot do. That is miracles. Trust God. And read 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 8 to 12. And then again verse 28. And then James chapter 5 verses 14 and 15. Read these passages my friends. Then you will know that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. And one last lesson. Why miracles? Point 8. New Testament also teaches that signs and wonders will be performed by the power of Satan and uh, through false teachers and prophets and preachers. 
This also you must keep in mind. And what does that mean? Especially by the Antichrist when he takes over and his false prophets. God's people therefore need to distinguish between what is from God and what is from the devil. And we are living in the very last moments of the last days and as the last days is coming to a close, these kind of things happen more and more. Jesus, you know, uh, performed all his miracles by the power of the Holy Spirit. He depended on the Holy Spirit as a man. And we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters. To know what is the truth and how the truth must be presented to the, to the world. We need to live in the Spirit and led by the Spirit to live victoriously. And also to do his works with signs and wonders. Why the Holy Spirit is needed? He gives you one of his uh, gifts is discernment. God's people must have the discerning spirit to distinguish between what is from the devil and what is from God in heaven. And if anybody has any doubt, how do you distinguish? How do you, how do you recognize? Because miracles all look alike. Well, a few week, uh, days ago, in one of the uh, meditation, I spoke about it. But if uh, somebody has not uh, heard it or you want to know, just call and let me know. God bless you. As you meditate on what you heard today, these things are true, my friends. And let us discharge our responsibility as disciples of Christ. And God will do his part. This is a great day. And live to glorify God. Have a good day today. And enjoy life with Christ. O oh Lord, we thank you for today's lesson. We thank you that you have shown to us from your word that the days of miracles are not over. Even today it is expected of your church and that church means people. Everyone who heard today this lesson, this meditation, are are, are instruments in your hand and give grace to everyone who heard this the faith to believe and then act upon that faith based on God's word and when they continue to minister to people by declaring God's truth God will confirm his truth by miracles and so Lord bless your people let their own life experience miracles in Jesus name. Amen. God bless you. Have a good day.